pot of tea with a couple of nibbles, some seasonal greens, and a piping hot bowl of fresh kanji. Ah, oh, that's a dope breakfast right there. The perfect way to start your day. Boom booms and eyes, and boom booms and mouth. And hmm. I need to tighten up that part. Whether it takes me uphill, downhill, or out to the sticks, I get the goods from A to B. I'll even take them across the sea if needed. So don't worry, you're in safe hands. They don't call me the gold standard guard for nothing. Boom booms and eyes, and boom booms and mouth. And hmm. I need to tighten up that part.
Yeah, we will win. I will have order. Solidify. Next up. Here comes the catch. Stabilize. This realm is true. If you ever have...
never had dim sum at Shinue Kiosk before, but it should be quite the feast for sure. Ooh, and that's Paimon's stomach right on cue telling her it's time to go find Gami. Let's go! You're here early. I just ordered. The food should be out in a second. Uh, sit down, sit down. Okay. Let's all take a seat. Here, hand me your cups. Uh, okay. Oh, thank you. Wait, uh, uh, you weren't supposed to drink that, Paimon. Hey. That was for you to rinse your utensils. <laughs> That's just how we do it where I'm from. Most of the time, though, I don't eat lunch after dim sum. Oh, that's good to hear. Paimon doesn't need to worry about holding back, then. Eat, eat. If it's not enough, we can always order more. Oh, and there's tongsoi coming as well. I don't usually have that in the morning, but, well, since everyone's here, I just had to order it. <laughs> what about you, Traveler? Is the food to your liking? Uh, want some more seafood kanji? Let me refill your bowl. Paimon's gonna take you up on that. Fill it up nice and full and make sure she gets a few extra shrimp. Thanks. Hey, take it up. Wow. <sighs> so full. That meal was so satisfying, it even gave Paimon some extra brain juice. Oh, now? listen, listen. Paimon's figured it out. Figured out what? Let's think about this for a second, Gaming. You invited us to this awesome restaurant and ordered a whole table full of expensive dim sum just for the three of us. Well, you must be hiding the fact that you're some young master from a rich family. Uh... That would explain why you try to keep your friends and family away from each other. <laughs> Are you confusing me with Xingqiu? Baby. Yeah, you sure know a lot of people. Hmm. Well, when you're on the road as much as I am, you hear all sorts of rumors. Sometimes they're true, sometimes they're not. What it comes down to is being able to tell the difference. More often than not, that means knocking on some doors to find out for yourself. Wait, what? You do that? Oh, you truly are a man of many talents, young Master Gaming. Okay, okay, enough with the teasing. <laughs> Sorry to burst your bubble, Paimon, but you're wrong about my family situation. Uh... What? Oh, Paimon thought she was onto something there. My dad is just an ordinary tea merchant. Small scale stuff, you know? It wouldn't even make sense to mention his business in the same breath as the Feiyun Commerce Guild. My dad. He always wanted me to inherit the family business, to be a merchant like him. But that's just not who I am. That's not who I ever wanted to be. Of course I have. I, I told him I wanted to be a wushou dancer. That I wanted all of Tavat to see what I could do. According to my dad, though, that wasn't a real job. Just a child's pipe dream. Oh, that's terrible. I'm sure he thought I would come around eventually, but wushou dancing has always been the only thing I wanted to do. 
One day, he tried to get me to visit some other tea merchants to start building the right relationships, but I refused to go. We got into a huge fight. We, we were this close to throwing hands. Oh. In the end, I was so angry that I, I ran away from home. I haven't been back since. Oh. Uh, don't get in my case just yet, okay? It's not like I think I'm completely without fault. No, I know that it wasn't the right way to go about things. But my dad's stubborn. No matter how hard I tried to convince him, it just went in one ear and out the other. There was no changing his mind. I knew talking would only get me so far, but if I made it big and leave you a harbor, the results could speak for themselves. Coming. But I'm sure you both already know how that's going. Wusho dancing's just not that big in Liyue Harbor. In the past, I would go door to door from store to store, asking if they would be interested in hiring a performer. Most times, I wound up eating nothing but humble pie. <laughs> and you can't just rely on dreams to put food on the table, right? So I found a job as a guard to make some money. And now I have enough to get by and then some. Still, change takes time. Gotta take it slow, you know? Paimon understands. Okay, enough of all that serious talk. Our tea's getting cold. Ooh, let's do something fun this afternoon. Okay. What do you say, huh? I'll organize. Actually, we kinda already have plans this afternoon. We told Xian Yun that we would go to her kite making workshop. Oh? Are you interested in kite making, Gami? Oh, no. It's just that I happen to know Auntie Xian Yun. But Auntie? Uh, do you not know who she really is, Gaming? Oh, I know that she's an adeptus. <laughs> I met her during a delivery once. But hasn't she been in the city lately? She's even tried, with some limited success, to change her terms of self-address or something like that. She came to see me a few days ago to ask about luminescent dyes. Oh, wait a second. She doesn't plan on putting those on a kite, does she? <laughs> is that not something you can do? It's one thing to use it on cloth, but applying it to paper is another matter entirely. Why couldn't she tell me what she wanted them for? Yeah, she does seem to have trouble with that sometimes. It would be such a shame if everyone worked so hard on their kites only for them to get ruined in the end. Okay, I'll go with you. If Auntie Xian Yun wants to use those dyes on a kite, the formula will need to be changed. Great! The more the merrier! Hmm. Right. This we're gonna go be cloud retainer. And Shenyan. Uh. Yeah. Right. So. Oop. Oh, I'm back here. Hmm. <sighs> Radio. have some mint oil. Perhaps we should try that. A guest at Wanmin restaurant recommended it to me. I've tried it. Its stimulative effects are much stronger than what can be achieved from chewing on mint leaves alone. Uh. Oh. Uh. Hmm. Apologies in advance. Uh-oh. Uh-oh! Wait! Shenhe! Not there! Oh... Oh! Uh oh <coughs> ah! 
See? It worked. She's awake. Uh, are you okay, Ganyu? Do you need uh. some water? Or, or maybe something to eat? I... I'm fine. I just feel... chilly all over. <laughs> that works. Huh. Was it that effective? Uh. Chilly, huh? Mm, Master always says a cool head leads to a calm heart. So... Does this mean that heat's what we need to help you, Ganyu? Uh, Pilot doesn't think that's what the expression means exactly. Hey, just try your best. I... I feel a bit better now. Ah, sweet. Was I asleep? Must have been around the time I usually take my midday nap. Did you not sleep last night? That does seem to happen to you often. Hmm, perhaps you should come work at Wanmin Restaurant with me. We get off at 10 on the dot every night without fail. I... I could never. I'm sorry. I oh. seem to have missed your name. <laughs> you are... <laughs> Me? My name is Gaming. I work as a guard for the Secure Transport Agency. Gaming. The name sounds familiar. I believe I've heard your name mentioned around the Ministry of Civil Affairs. People tell me you're an extremely enthusiastic worker. And you are very generous with your help. Uh, well, you know me. <laughs> or, uh, I guess you don't. <laughs> My uh. name is Ganyu. This is Shenha. And this is Yao Yao. It's an honor to finally meet you all. Oh, you must be here for Auntie Shen Yun's kite making workshop, right? Yes. I have neither made nor flown a kite before. As long as Master is willing to teach, I am willing to learn. Me too! I want to participate in the kite flying competition with my best friend! Uh. Plus, it's more meaningful if you make the kite yourself, right? Your best friend didn't come with you? Well, Chi Chi's been super oh. busy helping Dr. Baiju lately. I'll meet up with her later and give her a huge surprise! Oh, I also brought bandages and ointment with me today. It's easy to cut yourself when working with bamboo, so I thought I should come prepared. Oh, boss. Wow, you're really thoughtful. As for myself, I'm afraid I lack some of my companion's enthusiasm. I was originally planning to buy a ready-made kite and just enjoy the festive city atmosphere with everyone. But Cloud Retainer is always going out of her way to look after her juniors, wanting us to have the best there is. She always puts us before herself. Huh. It was so thoughtful of her to arrange this workshop, so I simply couldn't let such consideration go to waste. My motivation for being here might be a little different, yes. But I'm ready to put in just as much effort as everyone else. Well, we're all here. But where the heck is Xin Yun? Shouldn't she be here by now? Who is it that speaks of oneself in such an ill-tempered tone? Oh, come on! You clearly heard Paimon! <laughs> Master stopped to buy grilled tiger fish to share with everyone. Come get it while it's still warm. Oh, Paimon, sorry, Miss Illuminated Bird! Paimon always <laughs> knew you were the smartest, coolest, and prettiest adeptus. Someone as wonderful as you is sure to have brought enough for Paimon as well, right? Delicious. How you life is complete. Ooh. Hmm. It appears that we've ended up with quite a few participants indeed. Go ahead and divide yourselves into small groups. The materials are over here. The regular dyes and luminescent ones have been clearly marked. Use them as you see fit. As for how to make the kite, one assumes you all made sure to listen to the instructions one provided while we were eating. Wait, yes? what? Are there any questions? Wait, what? Paimon may have focused a little too hard on the eating and less on the listening. Oh. Paimon knew she could count on you, Traveler! Yeah, uh, yeah. One will wait under this tree and avail oneself of the cool air while one digests. Do not hesitate to seek one's company if you have any trouble, questions, or simply want to chat. We're not in any hurry to get started. Why don't we go see what the others are up to?
Hey, Gaming, want to team up? Huh? W I have to participate? I thought I'd be done for the day after adjusting the dye formula. You're that unenthused by kite making, huh? That doesn't seem like you. No, it's not that. It's just... Uh, it would take too long to explain. I guess I'll just make one then. Hmm... What shape should we go with? How about a butterfly? What do you think, Shuyu? Is there a particular design you want? I want a swanee! Uh... That might be a little hard to pull off. True, but I still want to try. They're super cute. <laughs> okay, it's decided then. Gaming, can I do the coloring? <laughs> sure. I'll go ahead and make the frame for you. <laughs> Auntie Cloud Retainer, look! Am I doing it right? Hmm, very good. Your frame is nice and sturdy. This design, is it a finch? <laughs> yep. <laughs> One is looking forward to seeing your finished product. What color are you going to make it, Yao Yao? Um, I haven't decided yet. If I make it blue, it'll be more like my friend. But if I make it gold, it'll be more like me. Uh, both. Then. If you are asking for one's own opinion, one would advise choosing gold. When giving a gift, the key consideration is the recipient's feelings, is it not? One imagines your friend would much prefer a kite that reminds them of you. Oh, hey, I never told you the kite was for Chi Chi. How did you know? With age comes wisdom, child. One <laughs> simply has a way of knowing things. Oh, cool. <laughs> Thanks, Auntie Cloud Retainer. I'm going to start painting it gold right now. Good. One will watch. You two seem strangely unoccupied. One uh, was under the impression uh, that one was supposed to be doing the relaxing. Is your kite finished? Uh... Actually, we haven't started yet, but we're going to start, uh, right now! <laughs> yep, um, yeah. Once I get better at making kites, I'm going to make one shaped like Uigwe. You gave huh? him to me, and he's just the best. <laughs> one is pleased that you like the gift. Um, Shenhe, it would be great if you could refrain from putting things on my horns from now on. Oh. They're really quite sensitive. I thought it was a head, I see. head piece. My apologies. I shall remember that in the future. Thank you. No harm done. Good. Hey, right, sweet. Could I touch them just once more, though? No oil uh, or anything this time. Uh... I've just always wondered what Miss Ganyu's horns feel like. Huh? Please, I told you. Just call me Ganyu. Uh, well, all right. Just be gentle. Hmm. Firm to the touch with no discernible temperature. Oh, not unlike certain medicinal plants I've eaten before. Oh, still, Ganyu appears to be shaking like a cat whose whiskers have just been touched. I should stop. Uh... Uh, I see. Uh? Then I'll apply the oil to your forehead next time. Uh, maybe. Oh, no need. I'll just refrain from taking afternoon naps outdoors. You know. What? <coughs> anyway, we should probably get started on our kite. It won't be long before Cloud Retainer comes to check on our progress. Perhaps, perhaps we should just choose the most traditional style. Okay. Well, they seem to be getting along swimmingly. But yeah. let's not disturb them. I do. We should get started on our kite now. Let's go. The scissor-tailed swallow sure takes a lot of curved bamboo rods to build. Oh. It broke. Um, 
Right, so... Interesting. Understood. I just let's start making good. First, we have to decide on the shape. Hey, what are you laughing at? The obvious answer is to make a five -way shape. Oh, that's not a completely crazy idea. If nothing else, a paimon-shaped kite could at least make sure you never get lost on your travels and always find the tastiest food and funnest things to do wherever you go. Maybe we're not exercising enough artistic license. Ooh, we should exaggerate this a bit. How about this? The word paimon means the guardian angel of travelers. What? Adorable. Now, what expression should we give her? Since the kite is going to be flying super high in the sky. <laughs> oh, Paimon totally didn't do anything wrong. And even if she did, she doesn't deserve to get shot up into the sky for it. Something like this, then. Since the kite is going to be flying... Ooh, like this? <laughs> the title of Champion Kite Flyer is mine! Since the kite is... It's too high! Someone say Paimon! She's about to faint! Like that? Since the kite is... I mean, I was thinking, I was, I was thinking the afraid one. Oh, Paimon totally didn't do anything wrong. And even if she did, she doesn't deserve to get... Since the kite is going to be... Okay, I was, you know, I was thinking of, of the afraid. It's too high! Someone say Paimon, she's about to faint! It, yeah, like I like that. that. Yeah, sure. Now that we've decided, let's make it happen. What are the other kites? <sighs> it's done! Paimon has to say, Kai Paimon might even rival real Paimon in terms of cuteness. Paimon. Now we just have to attach the string, right? Mm -hmm. All right, gather around, everyone. Uh oh. Oh, Shinyan's calling us! Let one take a look. Wow! Ganyu and Shenha made a scissor-tailed swallow! It's so pretty! Yep, the coloring makes it look a lot like Master. If the tail wasn't split in two like that, it might even be a spitting image! Uh, if you look closely, there are a few spots where the colors go outside the lines. Did you doze off while painting it, Ganyu? I did the painting. I stared at the paper for quite some time, but I simply could not recall the coloring of any bird. <laughs> Except Master. Or should I say that I'm too familiar with her crane form? <sighs> Even when she stands before us in human form, all I can see is blue and white. Oh! Well, now that you mention it, Paimon can see it too! Exactly. So I simply closed my eyes and painted from memory. No way. You, you can paint with your eyes closed? Wow. The disciples of Adepti really are something. You are most filial, Shenhe. One is flattered by the likeness. The swanee that Gaoming and Shuyu made looks very majestic. I'm sure it'll look even more impressive as it soars through the sky. The eyes and ears glow in the dark. So you're sure to see it at night. Your golden finch is cute too, Yao Yao. 
It's all thanks to Auntie Cloud Retainer's guidance. What about your kite, Traveler? Uh, oh, uh... Well, uh... Love it. <laughs> That's hilarious. Hmm. Why does Paimon feel like you're laughing at her and not with her? <laughs> uh, I'm just admiring the expression you chose. Whether the kite soars high in the air or comes crashing straight to the ground, it's still fitting. That's quite the impressive feat, actually. Is that the Jade Chamber? Wait, what? Oh. Uh, yeah. yeah, the Jade Chamber. Oh, who dares attempt such a flagrant display of impropriety <clears throat> by releasing a kite into one's territory without one's permission? This is a act of war. Oh, and to do so by making use of this crude piece of mortal machinery. <clears throat> oh, one simply must know who it is that possesses such impertinence. Uh oh. Continue attaching the strings, everyone. One will be but a moment. Cloud Retainer? Oh, dead. Traveler, Paimon, could I trouble you to go after Cloud Retainer? Uh, yeah, yeah, sure, sure. Master's going to be okay, right? Yeah. I'm more worried about the person who released the kite. Uh, yeah, you know what? That's actually... That's... that's There's wind up oh. ahead! Looks like we can glide over! Okay, so we, we actually do get the kite that we that we designed, but it, but the other two kites are very in, like are also. Uh, now for the string. I hope the person who released the kite is going to be okay. Yeah, I'm sure. Probably. Uh, be careful, you two. Master is not without her principles. We need not worry too much. Too much. Please look after Master for me. Yeah, sure. Right, one word. Uh, uh, oh. Uh -oh. The spontaneous device of mechanical motion is uh. quite curious indeed. Uh oh. Now is hardly an opportune time for uh -oh. your musings. Someone among us was not sufficiently attentive, and now the kite has vanished. Uh oh. Calm yourself. Do you have any recollection of its last location? One believes it drifted in the direction of Mount Outsong. Ah. Uh. Perhaps it is mere happenstance, but one feels a certain sense of dread at the thought. <laughs> Your concern is misplaced, surely. Surely. The cloud retainer is either in the city looking after her disciples, or secluded in her abode attending to her research. She will not notice that kite. Uh... On the subject of said kite, however, one simply must remark on the genius of its windless lift technology. Uh, um... One cannot help but surmise Guys that its are... ingenuity rivals that of Cloud Retainer's creations. Rest in peace. Still thy tongue. If Cloud it's... Retainer were to hear you profess such a thing, we can both say farewell to any further use of the Supreme Cuisine Machine. One presumes that this kite belongs to you. Uh. Regard the situation with which we are now confronted. This is all your fault. One's fault? One seems to recall that releasing the kite was no solitary endeavor. Say something, Mountain Shaper. Surely you can think of something to appease her. Further explanation shall only fan the flames of her wrath. It would be better to stay silent and retire at the earliest opportunity. We can hardly avoid her forever. That may uh... suffice during Lantern Rite. But what about the Moon Chase Festival? Sooner or later, she will discover our true identity. <sighs> Hello? Go retrieve the kite. 
Absolutely not. You retrieve it. That is not our kite. Is it? Are you serious, guys? Oh, so an adeptus such as oneself is mistaken then? Ah, uh, you're an adeptus? Please forgive us for any impropriety. W wow. I truly are... possess no inkling of who could have released a kite into your esteemed domain. Pray, who could be responsible for such wanton behavior? Wow. Verily, verily, we this were but is... delighting in the surrounding scenery. This locale is home to such exquisite... Uh, ah, mint! <laughs> exquisite. Well, and if that's all, then we'll just be on our way. We finally caught up. You sure do fly fast in your illuminated bird form, Shinyan. Real. Moon Carver? Mountain Shepherd? <laughs> what are you doing here? Well. You. I... <laughs> okay, now Paimon's getting a weird vibe. Did she say something wrong? You it is of no consequence. Long has one seen through their disguises. One was yeah. simply curious as to how long they would keep up the act. Uh, then you are not angry? Oh, she's angry. Hmm. How could one feel anger at the sight of two old friends enjoying themselves? One is also well aware of how enticing these city novelties can be. <sighs> we were simply consumed by a fit of festive spirit. Seldom do we get the opportunity to partake in the delights of the times. However, we are far from being as adept as you in matters that require a deftness of hand. No worthy kite could be born of our own making. Thus, we could only take the convenient route, so to speak. Your prowess in mechanics is unparalleled, Cloud Retainer. You wield the wind and waves themselves. Your singular talent stands unmatched across the land. Of this, we are well aware. <sighs> One has guests to attend to. We will have to convene again some other time. Uh, I am surprised. That... Traveler, Paimon, do try to keep up. Uh, y y y yes, ma'am. We're leaving already? Oh, all this flying from place to place is wearing Paimon out. Yeah. Okay, yes, do it. It seems that one's concern was misplaced after all. Then, should we continue flying the kite? A splendid suggestion, but it would be advisable to change locations. Perhaps your mountain would suffice? It is more than spacious enough. A fine idea. A fine idea indeed. Our village is visible. Apparently, not quite proficient in both. My rose. Let's keep it. I think that's pretty. They. It's already used. Not bad. Back we go. 
they're back. Hey. <gasps> Paimon's pooped. Uh, hi. Why are there only two of you left? Being dark. After you left, Yao Yao and Shu Yu tired themselves out playing with their kites. Uh huh. Gao Ming offered to escort them home. Uh huh. Before he left, he said something that I don't quite understand. Oh? What did uh -oh. he say? He said, A kite is always tied down no matter how far it flies or how high it soars. Its tether prevents it from ever truly flying free. Uh. He looked quite dejected as he said this. Oh, that's is that why... Now that you mention it, Gaming did seem to have a rather strange attitude towards kites. A reflection of himself. Oh, if I were a kite, I would cherish that tether as a symbol of kinship and the bonds that tie us and... Shenha? It may be an exceedingly slim and distant connection, but lose it. And you lose that which links you to home. If Gaming truly sees a kite as a reflection of himself, then I fear I understand his words even less. Well, people often have different points of view depending on their mindset and experiences, right? It's actually quite normal. Just like some people can eat spicy food, but others won't go anywhere near it? Exactly. That's why tolerance and understanding are as important as they are. Uh, tolerance and understanding? What brought about this conversation? Did one miss something? Uh, oh, I, I We were just chatting. You don't have to butt in on every little thing, you know. Where were you anyway? Uh, hmm. One was merely doing a bit of cooking. Uh, oh? Night fast approaches. If you are otherwise unoccupied, one would entreat you to stay and eat before you depart. Oh, it's been so long since I've had the chance to enjoy your cooking, Cloud Retainer. Uh... Worry not. One has prepared a variety of meat and vegetable dishes. One is more than familiar with everyone's culinary proclivities. Hey! Paimon's hungry too! It's not like the dim sum and grilled fish could keep her full the whole day, you know? Uh, Shenha, Ganyu, come with me. Yeah. Whoa, what's with all the secrecy? You're not trying to play favorites, are you? Yeah. If you're ready to serve the food, we can help too. Okay, go. Oh. oh, wait, well, look. No, it's lower. Oh, we're actually going in to the abode or? against my legs. <laughs> this is a bit embarrassing. Is the headpiece secure? I should have asked Cloud Retainer to check before I stepped outside. How do we look? Huh? Uh, uh. She asked them just like that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You look pretty too, Ganyu! Oh, how should Paimon put it? Uh, you both look so elegant and refined! Those outfits really suit you both! Given that one employed the services of the best tailor in all of Liyue, one would expect nothing less. What colors have you been partial to lately, Shenhe and Ganyu? Uh oh. Lately? Why is Cloud Retainer suddenly asking about what colors we like? I like black. One is gratified to see one's disciple has inherited one's own tastes. 
The color black doesn't get dirty easily. A virtue I've come to value recently. And you, Ganyu? I favor blue and black. And the material is sufficiently comfortable, yes? Yes, very. I simply cannot thank you enough, Cloud Retainer. For this gift, and the kite, too. Thank you, Master. One is content, as long as you are pleased with the gift. One hopes these garments will see much use. <laughs> Seems like your supreme cuisine machine is just getting better and better, Xianyan! <laughs> this golden crab's particularly good. The shell's deliciously crunchy, and the meat inside is so succulent and sweet! <laughs> Paimon can't stop eating. It's a good thing Gaming isn't here, or Paimon would have to duel him for the food. You know, with chopsticks. He traveled all this way on account of the kite-making workshop, and he spent the whole afternoon looking after Shuyu. One was hoping to treat him to a meal. <sighs> oh, well. One will just have to extend one's thanks in person. It's rare for someone to make such a good impression on you, Cloud Retainer. One has high standards. He appears to be a young man of much merit, and one is not the type who would see such potential squandered. Mm. It appears that he wishes to break free from the kite string that tethers him. Kite string? Huh, what strange metaphors you speak in, Shen He. Ever since you returned from one mean restaurant, your turns of phrase render one at quite the loss. Where do we even begin? Oh, do you know about the conflict between Ga Ming and his dad, Xin Yun? One has only heard that the two are not on good terms. You heard more than he me. ran away from home and hasn't been back since. Oh? Ran away, you say? Oh. Huh. One believes we would all benefit from a more thorough retelling. Start from the beginning. You sure it's this oh, kid talks okay. about all this? Paimon just hopes he won't mind. What? This shall not do. But uh, wait, wait. Lantern uh, right fast approaches. We must make haste. Uh, but, uh, uh, As one was contacting various tailors around Liyue, one could not help but be reminded of Minogius. He possessed a singular talent for clothing design. He had an exquisite eye, not just for fabric selection and color pairing, but also for what accessories could best accentuate a garment's overall styling. At a gathering of Adepti, Bonanus once complained in secret to some of the ladies in attendance that the skirt Minogius made for her was too long and impractical, lamenting that it would only hinder her in battle. However, when one asked Minogius his opinion, he remarked that the train of the skirt would serve to enhance her adeptal countenance by exemplifying a certain elegance. Uh... Minogius was that type of person. When it came to topics relating to garments and accessories, not even Rex Lapis could best his stubbornness. And huh? later... Uh... <clears throat> uh... One seems to have straight off topic. Yeah, what does this have to do with anything? One means to say that Lantern Right should be a day of reunion. Oh. It is a time to address problems before they turn into regrets. Oh. Fate is fickle. The cruel reality of this world is that suffering and misfortune can befall any of us without design or reason. If there is a chance for young people to remain insulated from this reality, one should do one's utmost to make it so. That's nice and all, but... Do you have any ideas, Cloud Retainer? Hmm. Perhaps adeptal arts could be of use. Oh, no, no. Mechanics, perhaps. Hmm. One fails to see its use in a situation such as this. Is there anything I can do to help? Hmm. Combining our efforts is a fine idea indeed. Aha! One has an idea! Oh? How about this? Does that make sense to everyone? Uh, I don't know. Maybe? Yep! Oh, Paimon really 
hopes this works. <laughs> One's designs never fail. Now then, I counsel rest for all, and to make the necessary preparations. One shall see you in two days. All right, part two. Right. All right. All right. So. Da -da -ba -da -ba. Da -da -da -da. Oh, um, what I should. Probably just. Okay. So apparently the, like the, the other options for, um, for Pi, for the Paimon kite had, have these. Ta-da! Here it is! Hmm. Its self-important countenance bears a striking resemblance to that of its namesake. It makes her look like she's already won the competition. Well, that's gonna happen one way or another. <laughs> the other one's the guilty option. <laughs> Very Paimon-like indeed. Oh, why do you say that, Shen, huh? That one time the traveler suspected that a piece of meat was missing from their bowl, that was the exact expression on your face. Is that something that happened? So it was, and then the traveler then says, so it was you. <laughs> uh. Uh, what, a, what a what a time. Hey. Hi, Gummy! Paimon sees you've certainly gotten an early start this morning. Playing games already? Who won this time? You the one buying dim sum again? Hey, when you put it like that, it makes it sound like I'm always the one losing. Ah, perfect. Oh. You're all here. Uh, there's an important commission I need your help with. Oh. All right, I've got the time. Where are the goods? Well, it's not just goods this time. I need you to escort a tea merchant and their wares oh. from Chaoying Village to Liyue Harbor. A very important client has requested to meet with him. Sure. Uh, what's this merchant's address? Oh, uh, okay. I... We're here. Uh... uh, uh... <laughs> if the client's that important, then this uh... must be a very crucial, very pressing commission, right? Right. Um... Of course, the sooner you complete it, the better. I would advise you to depart as soon as possible. I mean... <laughs> All right, um, don't work too hard now, Longjo. We'll set off then. This is very simple. This is quite simple. But it's, uh... Can you recognize him, or is it just... Oh, they're already here. Oh, and you're a bit quiet today, Gaming. Oh, do you want Paimon to tell a story? Uh, we're almost there. I'll take a rain check on that. Oh, wait, why does why does it do dive? Okay, I guess the dive is not.
Gotta die. Right, so. Um, uh, okay. There we go. Here we go. Right, onward. Oh, uh. Hello, you must be the tea merchant heading to Leeway Harbor. We're here to escort you. Dad? <sighs> oh, so you're Gumming's father. It's nice to meet you. <laughs> yeah, Just leave this delivery to him. Trust Paimon, he's got this in the bag. Gumming is super good at what he does. Oh my gosh, Everyone Paimon, at the you... Secure Transport Paimon. Agency says as much. Even the Ministry of Civil Affairs has nothing but good things to say about him. Seems like you've made some sort of name for yourself at least. The... the goods are all in order? Yes, they're all here. Then let's get going. Uh, a very important client has asked for you by name! You kinda have to come with us! Yeah... Uh, doesn't know how we would explain ourselves if you just didn't show up. Actually, Plus, you'd focus. be missing out on a huge money-making opportunity! I see. I suppose I will have to trouble you all to escort me, then. Let's go. This is... This is really awkward. This is... Really, really awkward. Wait, what? Wait. What grade is he on? Uh, oh. Jeez. Uh, oh. I've never seen her fight anyone.
Yeah. But yes. Um place to rest. Okay. Radio. Um function in. This is I this is a situation. I don't. We've been walking for so long. Is anyone tired? How about we stop and rest for a bit? I'm fine. Uh, Gaming, don't you usually have some delicious snacks on you? Come on, bring them out so we can share them. Yeah. I'm fine. Thank you. Cake he gave us last time was so Bro. delicious. Oh, you it before, Mr. Ip? Paimon! Uh, Paimon. He's... This place looks nice and open. Why don't you all rest here for a second? Huh? What about you? You're not going to join us? Yeah. But, uh... I'm not tired. I'll keep watch. Oh, but... Just let him go. Uh... Okay. We'll just share amongst ourselves then. Did you know, Uncle Ip, that the flavor of these cakes changes depending on... Halt! Who goes there? It appears that one's movements what? were overly conspicuous. Are you serious? Enough of your musings. Focus. Focus on the matter at hand. Are you serious? Present your exquisite ornaments at once. Are you serious? You are... Indeed. Bring them forth readily and without protest. Ah! What do we do? Uh, just... It seems as if these two are acting alone. It won't be difficult to subdue them, but they might have something else waiting in store for Dad. The best way to keep him safe is... Run away? Leave this to me. I'll handle them. Traveler, Paimon, take my dad and the goods away from here. No, coming. It's too dangerous. This is what I do. Yeah, yeah. Fine. A thorny foe, indeed. Let us depart and seek a target softer in blows and disposition. Uh, are you uh -uh. I don't think I'm gonna let you off so easily. Uh. Away! Let us away! Coming! Uh. uh... Don't worry, he's a great fighter. Yeah, exactly. Hey. Paimon's even seen him take down a dozen or so treasure hoarders all by himself. That's actually not a. But a... coming, I. What? <sighs> If he had just stayed by my side and learned a family trade, he wouldn't have to put himself in such dangerous situations. We just have to trust him. Let's go on ahead. We'd best get away from here, in case there are other bandits in the area waiting in ambush. Yeah, yeah. All is going to plan. Uh, we should be good to stop here. Um. Young Lee? Oh no, what is he doing here? What? 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 Huh? Good sir, please listen to me. Reel in your line and leave this place as <laughs> quickly as you can. There are bandits in the area. Oh. <laughs> is this part of the. Is this part of the plan or is he. Is Young Lee just. Bandits? Acting in broad daylight? <laughs> oh, was he oh. was not part of the plan? Okay. <laughs> ah, I see. I, wait, you got, it you... appears many people are catching a chill as of late. If your throat is bothering you, Paimon, perhaps some tea and rest are in order. Uh, nope, no need, no need. Paimon's fine. She just uh, had some cake stuck in her... 
her throat. Yeah. Uh... If there are indeed bandits in the area, then we should inform the Millilith at once. The guard that was escorting us is already on this. Oh? Well, if that's the case, such matters are best left to those with the necessary expertise, wouldn't you agree? <sighs> I suppose you're right. If ordinary people like us got involved, we would only cause more trouble. Since we find ourselves otherwise unoccupied in this beautiful area, what? Why don't we find a quiet place to relax while we wait for good news? Uh, hmm. That would be lovely. Uh. Lord. He has to have figured it out by now, right? Or, or has already, or already, very figured it out a what like a while ago. You. So, uh, Uncle Lip does have a reason to be worried. After all, Ga Ming, the guard we mentioned, is his son. Ga Ming. The name sounds somewhat familiar. Ah, yes. Uh, that is the name of the Usho dancer who has been performing around Liyua Harbor recently, is it not? Oh, have you seen him perform? Uh, yeah. Indeed. I cannot help but admire his skill. He truly encapsulates the spirit of the Suani. Usho dancing has become more well known in Liyua Harbor recently. However, although performers are seeing budding success, they have no doubt had to face many hurdles along the way. Ones not so easily understood by spectators such as ourselves. If you ask me, what truly deserves admiration is perseverance in the face of adversity. That is a rare attribute indeed. I have heard many of my acquaintances praise Gumming for his kind, selfless, and courageous disposition. To have a child so accomplished and upright, you must be a very proud parent indeed, Uncle Lip. Seems like Sean Lee has decided to skip the formalities. Yeah, he just went straight uh, to it. Well, he... He's a hard worker. Yes. You should be sure to tell him you think that when he gets back. Yeah, yeah. I... <sighs> Your son is young yet. It's normal for someone his age to be a bit... hot-headed. It's understandable to find talking about such things in person difficult. If there's a particular sentiment you wish to convey, perhaps we could pass it along for you. No, no. It wouldn't be right to ask that of you. <sighs> this thing between us has festered for many years now. In truth, there are some things that simply aren't easy for us to talk through. I've been in the tea business for most of my life, and I always hoped my child would do the same. Otherwise, how would he support himself? Over the past few years, I heard how well he was doing for himself as a guard. How his work was taking him to farther and farther off places. I also heard that he never gave up on wu-show dancing. It made me happy, but I was also worried. When you're young, you can handle all that physically taxing work and manual labor. What young person isn't capable of making a living that way? My concern is what happens when you get old. Every time I get to thinking like that, I cannot help but be reinforced in the belief that I was right. That I was right not to give in. I often regret introducing him to Wu Shou dancing as a kid. If I had known how things would turn out, I would have never taken him to see those performances in the first place. It is only natural for a parent to strive to send their child down the right path. No one would begrudge you that sentiment, Uncle Ip. 
You need not worry. You seem quite young, Mr. Zhongli. Yet you speak with such wisdom. Perhaps I have misjudged your age. 800. <laughs> your words are too kind. Truth be told, one of my old friends has several grown daughters. Rather than fretting about their future, however, she prefers to let them find their own way. Then she is more easygoing than I could ever be. I fear I lack such an open mind. Uh, oh, I meant to say earlier, there is no need to be so polite. Uh, feel free to call me by my name, Iptak. Sure. So, do you also think I fret too much, Mr. Zhongli? <sighs> That's not exactly what I was hoping to convey. Only a fool would ask a parent not to worry about their child. But think of it this way. Raising a child is not unlike flying a kite. Hold the string too tight, and it can no longer soar. As my friend once said, if your children are aiming for the stars, clipping their wings will only cause them to come crashing down. You need to let out the line for a kite to soar. <sighs> It seems I was too stuck in my ways. You need not reproach your heart for caring. You simply need to loosen your hold a little. Indeed, with such a big heart, why not allocate the time you usually spend worrying about Gaming to the pursuit of other things? Like going for a stroll, drinking tea, or taking in the scenery. You never know what surprises could be in store. Things can change in the blink of an eye. <laughs> The blink of an eye, you say. Do things change so quickly? Children grow up in quite the same way, do they not? Day after day, year after year, sometimes in the blink of an eye, but always when you least expect it. As a father, I'm sure you know that best. <laughs> yes, you can say that again. One second Gaming was a kid, the next thing I knew, he was ready to fly the nest. Xiang Li certainly has a way with words. You already do that. Oh, Gaming is back. Hey, Gaming, we're over here. Dad, traveler, Paimon. Good, you're all here. Oh, and Mr. Zhong Li from the Wangsheng Funeral Parlor? You're here too? Yeah. <laughs> a fated meeting indeed. We were just enjoying some pleasant conversation. Uh, <clears throat> is everything resolved? Well, you could say that. What does that mean? Traveler, Paimon, come with me. I need to talk to you. Uh, <clears throat> wait. Wait. Uh, huh? uh, oh. Busted, aren't we? If... I'll come right out and say it. Those two bandits, you sent them, didn't you? Uh... Uh... <laughs> uh... So, that's how we're starting off? Can't look me in the eye, huh? I guess I'm right then. Okay, but uh... how did you know? They're, they're way too... At first, their mannerisms seemed a bit stilted. But once I got close, it was obvious that they possessed great skills. I was oh. right on their tail, and it should have taken only a few steps to catch up to them, yet somehow I was never able to close that distance. Hey. People with that level of skill would have gone about things differently from the start, like sneaking up on us while we were distracted. Unless, of course, their real motive was to lure me away from the group all along. Uh... Wow, you're pretty quick on the uptake. Yeah. I just have a lot of experience. I've dealt with many uh. a ruthless bandit in my time, but I've never seen ones like them. In the end, I told them they would make good guards if they ever wanted to get back on the straight and narrow, and that they could hang out with me and Lee Yua Harbor anytime. Oh, okay. Uh, you ever consider you might be a little too good at making friends? <laughs> yeah, I'm guessing you guys were trying to help resolve things between my dad and me. You... <sighs> I appreciate it, I, I really do. But this conflict between us has been going on for a long time. Even if those two were real bandits, and 
I was able to subdue them and show him what I was capable of. It, it wouldn't change anything. You've seen the way he talks to me. It's not like that at all! Your dad really, really cares does. about you. You should see the way he talks about you when you're not around. But John Lee real. was talking things through with him and he nearly agreed to let it go. Uh, was... You don't believe us? He won't let it go. He can say as much as he wants to other people, but he won't talk to me. I'm certain of it. <sighs> you told us you wanted to prove yourself to your dad. Why don't you tell him about all the hard work you've done these past few years? Will that even do anything? I'm not sure talking is enough. You won't know unless you try. Just what? like how you won't know if something is delicious unless you taste it. Listen to us. It's time to put these people skills to good use. You can make friends with anyone, so why not your dad? Here for you, man. <laughs> I'll do my best. <laughs> you are very knowledgeable, Mr. Zhongli. I'm impressed. Despite my being in the tea industry for several decades, it seems, I still have much to learn about the art of tea tasting. You flatter me. It was nothing but a few humble musings. Yeah, for How much God. tea have you drank since we've been gone? Uh, it's not like it was up. <laughs> Ip Duck and I have found many a common interest. Our friendship, much like a cup of tea, seems to grow stronger the longer it has to steep. <laughs> well said, Mr. Zhongli. Gaming, Mr. Zhongli is very knowledgeable. You should take the opportunity to learn from people like him when you're in the city. Maybe not about huh? tea. Oh, uh, of course. Ahem. <clears throat> Zhang Li? I have very much enjoyed our conversation, Ipdok, but I, unfortunately, have some unfinished funeral parlor business to attend to. Yep. Corpse. Oh, I, I hope I didn't keep you. Oh, no, no. My apologies for taking up so much of your time, Mr. Zhongli. No need to stay on my account. When you're less busy, let's find a time to meet. I'll treat you to dim sum. It would be an honor. Hmm. We'll see you off, Zhongli. You two have a nice chat, all right? Should we sit? Uh, sure. Uh, oh boy. Thanks for helping us talk things through with Uncle Ip. Good thing you were able to pick up on what we were putting down. I have been around the both of you for some time now. You could say I have a certain level of expertise in that regard. As for my role in the conversation, think nothing of it. I hardly did anything noteworthy. I mean, you gave him some... <laughs> you never change, do you? Way too humble for your own. Uh, why did you have us walk all this way? Paimon thought we just had to go far enough to be out of earshot. A friend approaches. Yeah. Hello. Oh, hi. So, you're here hey. too? Hey. I've been here the whole time. A ghostly kite. Could that elusive director who be coming to Wangshu Inn once again? What is she doing here? Uh, I suppose it matters not. Given her relationship with Rex, well, Zhang Li, I might as well go pay my respects. Huh. It's you. I thought you were director who. Ah, your arrival is most fortuitous. Do you want to try out this new gadget? What? The addition of the power source makes the takeoff more stable. It's just that... He seems quite immersed in the study of this device. I fear it's almost too stable. It completely negates the pleasure of seeing one's kite sway with the wind. It's a bit of a shame. 
In truth, I'm here because Director Hu dispatched me to purchase some items in preparation for Lantern Rite. I see. Much like she does every year. Much like she'll do next year, I would imagine. Hmm. Ugh. Am I wrong? Or has she once again sent you out to buy... What is it? Sesame oil or something? While we're on the subject, I do wonder why she is so obsessed with using sesame oil in the preparation of mixed vegetable dishes for Lantern Rite. A recommendation from Shang Ling, perhaps. What do you think, Xiao? I've only met Director Hu a few times. I'm hardly the best person to ask. Ah, and is that not a sign that you should visit Wang Sheng Funeral Parlor more often? It wouldn't hurt to grace the parlor with your presence now and again, when you are otherwise unoccupied. What is this? This one here is a traditional kite, one without any equipped mechanical device. Director Hu tasked me with studying the differences between the two to determine which one is of greater merit. Many hands make light work. Perhaps you could test out the other kite for me? All right. I have made my comparisons. If speed is what you're after, the mechanical kite is the better choice. Wonderful. I shall pass that information along to Director Hu. I'll leave these two kites with you. Perhaps you can find a few friends with which to partake in the activity. You might find it to be an enjoyable use of your time. Oh, uh, wait. Who enjoys kite flying? Well, I would imagine someone of your talent and wisdom is more than capable of finding out. So, you were testing out the kites for Hu Tao and even roped Xiao into doing it for you? Paima didn't ask earlier because the situation was uh, awkward. I would hardly say I roped Xiao into anything. I simply sought the help of a friend. Besides, we did the testing together. Uh, seems like our pool of competitors is growing. Do you like kite flying, Xiao? I suppose I neither like nor dislike it. Hey, that's better Although, than... Although, watching a kite gradually ascend into the sky does bring me a certain peace of mind. Perhaps they're a bit like shell lanterns in that way. Hmm. Kite flying is also a pleasant form of relaxation. Have you ever thought about making a kite, Xiao? Cloud Retainer taught us how. We can teach you if you want. There's no need. Minogius was the only Yaksha among us who had an interest in matters of ornamentation and design. When Lantern Rite is over, come find me near Pervasi's temple if you have the time. Yeah. Mm. It's getting late. I should go inform Director Hu of our findings. How has she been, by the way? Be sure to say hi to her for us. Ah. The last time I spoke to her, she mentioned that she would be visiting Chaoying Village in a few days. If you have the time... Perhaps you could also make the trip. <laughs> if you happen to run into her, you can pass along your regards in person. We'll keep that in mind. Yes. Take care, Xiangli. See you later. See you next time. Uh. Mm. <sighs> <Coming>. Dad. <laughs> uh. Uh. You can go first. I don't have anything to say. Then I'll go. I still don't want to leave Liyue Harbor. Oh. I can't say I support that decision, but... <sighs> hey, let me finish before you get all worked up. <sighs> sit, Shinha, sit. You must be tired from your journey. Shall I pour you a cup of tea, or would you prefer something else to drink? No need, I'm not tired. Eh? They're gone, Master. Perfect. The time is nigh for us to make an appearance. What? I Do you remember the plan one recounted to you? What? Yes, Master. We aim to give them a demonstration of familial Wait. love. Are you- are you for real? 
so I'll have whatever you are having. All right. What are Auntie Shenyun and Shenhe doing here? Rex. How many people are involved in this scheme? I suppose all I can do is just take a seat and see what happens. Perfect. I just so happened to this have bought so... some Songlo tea recently. It's so quite awkward. the delectable variety. Or it would be if one has not been forced to drink it every day in the hopes of whittling down one's considerable stash. One has more than had one's fill already. Uh. Oh, forget it. Such thoughts detract from the present need to keep up the conversation. Has work been busy during the holiday season? Do you need my help with anything? Uh, drunk guests can sometimes cause trouble, but I deal with them as you taught me, by pinning their heads against the table. Whoa. Huh? What? Are Auntie Xianyun and Shanha serious right now? <laughs> yeah, really? This is so... <coughs> Oh. Oh. oh dear, while one was busy orchestrating this act, one seems to have forgotten about Shunha's various eccentricities. Yeah. Mm. What, what, uh, what I meant to ask was, have you made any new friends? We live so far from each other, it would be a great comfort to me to know you were surrounded by good companions. Oh my gosh. <sighs> You already know of my past circumstances. Recently, I've been conversing with Guoba in the kitchen at night. <laughs> Guoba can't talk, but his companionship is a comfort. <sighs> the poor child. Her one friend can't even talk. What? <laughs> I guess maybe Gaming is not doing so bad after all. Perhaps I've been too hard on him. <laughs> Let's move on, shall we? Do you have any plans for today, Shenhe? How about we do something fun? That sounds about right. Take her to do something fun, and perhaps she'll loosen up a bit. Like we used to do when we would carry stones up and down the mountain from dawn until dusk, picking Wait, herbs to eat for dinner along the way? Wait, what? If that is what you ask of me, then that is what I shall do. Wait, what? Dad, uh, here, have some tea. Or, or no, wait, let's not have any just yet. <coughs> yeah. Oh, I simply can't listen to that any longer. <laughs> Coming. I'd like to finish what I was trying to say before. I don't support your decision to stay in Liyue Harbor, because living there is too hard on you. If you come home, there will be people to help you. I'm not saying we have to live under the same roof. I know our personalities are too similar to avoid butting heads. But you'll have your entire family around you. Your aunts, uncles, they'll all do whatever they can to help. You could get a less taxing job, and we could... We could grab dim sum together from time to time. Huh. I didn't know dim sum was such an important affair, Master. Shh. Just think about it, okay? You don't have to decide now. Dad really has changed a lot. He would never have said these things to me before. But I... Thank you, Dad. It's been long enough, don't you think? Oh, I'm unsure hopes they've made up by now. Need some oh, problems. they're drinking tea in silence. That's not a good sign. Did Xianyun's plan not work after all? It worked okay. Uh, hey you two! Paimon's sorry we were gone for so long. We got to chatting with some friends and didn't realize how much time had passed. Perfect timing, actually. We seem to be just about done here. Yep, uh, let's go. I'll get the vax. <sighs> Gaming has grown a lot taller, hasn't he? He <laughs> always did that much taller. <laughs> guess he is a little bit tall. Master. Did I say something wrong earlier? 
I tried to go along with your questions, but when I saw how you and that man reacted, I started to wonder. <sighs> Not at all. Certain unforeseen variables may have presented themselves along the way, but the outcome proved favorable. The plan was a success. Then I helped? Naturally. Your purity of spirit is one <laughs> of your greatest strengths, Shenhe. You need not change who you are. There's a unique uh, person. Unique person. Anyway, I need to use the restroom. So be right back. Sing to dance away your cares, shake them loose. Come one and come on. Where a cool breeze blows and clean water flows, just a short stone's throw. Come on down to Lake Juliet. Charlotte. You must be Mr. Ip. Thank you for coming all this way. My name is Charlotte, and I'm a reporter from Fontaine. You can find me writing for the Steambird. I invited you here not just to purchase your fine tea, but also with the hope that you might be willing to sit down for a short interview. What do you uh, say? An interview? 
to advertise my teas? I suppose you could think of it that way. We Fontanians are big tea drinkers too. The Fontaine Market. Then I'll need some time to adequately prepare. Perhaps we could sit down and discuss the questions you intend to ask in advance. Of course, of course. Please follow me. Is this person also involved in your plan? Uh... And here I thought I had lots of connections. Yeah. <sighs> I suppose I've been humbled. You sure know all kinds of cool and important people. Over here! Yoo-hoo! Over here! Uh, oh, huh? What? Auntie Shen Yun? She probably wants to talk about the next phase of the plan. Let's go while your dad is still distracted. I take it that all is going well? Don't worry, Shenyun. Everything is going according to plan. I knew it. I knew that was all an act earlier. Auntie Shenyun is really something. <laughs> she was so determined to help me, she didn't even care about making herself and Shanka appear foolish in front of my family. She truly knows how to look out for others. <laughs> I still have a lot to learn. As for the next step, Oh, no. What's wrong, Gamin? Don't tell me you're the ones footing the bill for all that tea. I can't let you do that. What? <laughs> Fret not. Reimbursements will be made. Exactly. Think of it more as an investment, as Ningguang would say. Exactly. We pulled together the Mora so that Charlotte could place the order. She's going to bring it back to the Steambird as a gift, as well as a sample of the regional specialty. Fontanians will probably fall in love with your dad's tea as soon as they lay their eyes on Charlotte's article. And once all the money from the new orders begin to roll in, getting our Mora back will be a piece of cake. Oh, okay. Yeah, Business-related so matters always seem to go over my head, but I refuse to let you all lose Mora on my behalf. I'll pay you back right now. No. We can talk about such matters at a later date. No. There are more important matters for you to consider at the moment. Are there not? Yeah, more important than money. Yes. I've been thinking about it the whole way here. I have an idea, but I'd hate to cause even more trouble for all of you. Don't worry about it. Hmm. That is for us to decide. Yeah, we're all friends here. Plus, we wouldn't be here if we didn't want to help, right? Just okay. tell us about this idea of yours. Okay. Whew. So... It's like this. That and that. Got it! Just leave it to us! Let's split up and make it happen! Oh. We need to do those things we talked about, but we also still have the kite flying competition! Yep. Since Xiao already tested out those kites for us, why don't we also go buy one of those mechanical thingamabobs or whatever they're called? We can attach it to our kite! Radio. Uh. 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 stall. Hello again! Hey. Welcome back. I see you returned from your trip. I really do have to thank you for all your help from before. Thanks to you, my daughter was able to build a kite with her grandmother that very same day. She even wrote a long letter telling me how much she loved it. Oh, you should really be thanking Gaming, not us. Uh, I'll be sure to. And are you here to buy a kite? Please, take your pick. Oh, we made a kite. Oh, we already have a kite. We wanted to buy one of those, um, device thingies for 
from Fontaine. Do you sell them separately? Ah, yes. Here you go. Please, take it. Free of charge. What? The directions are in the box. It's not hard to install at all. Uh, okay. Um, it doesn't feel right for us to just take it. Well, nor would it feel right for me to take your Mora. <laughs> Good luck in the kite flying competition. I'll be rooting for you. All right, then. Thank you. <sighs> it's done. Let's get down to business. What's going on? Uh, something happened? Uh, what should we do? Oh, should we get the mill with? Uh. <gasps> What's that? Any pictures already? Uh, I need to load more film. Be 
lantern, right? <laughs> Happy lantern, right? I'm curious if there's like, so many stars. like if anyone's just you can't beat the atmosphere here and you're leaving. Like if any if there are just any for me right away. That's okay. Thank you, little girl. Do you want us to walk you back? No need, no need. Master is waiting for me right over there. <sighs> hmm. I suppose I'll go first this time. Okay. Your performance. I've seen many wushu dances in my time, but I've got to admit, what you pulled off there was breathtaking. Wow. I... I never thought I'd live to hear you say that. <laughs> You're serious about doing this professionally? A absolutely. I... I know it'll be difficult, but... Then it doesn't matter. What I mean to say is, of course it'll be difficult. But if that's your decision, if that's your dream, then it doesn't matter how difficult it is. As long as you put in the work, then any obstacle can be overcome in time. Really, when I was young, I also... <laughs> Actually, how about we save that story of my past for another time? All I really want to say is, I've changed my mind. And much like this kite, you also deserve to soar to new heights. Dad. Son. Son? <laughs> Haven't heard that in a while. I bet you're wondering what's gotten into me saying all this. <laughs> well, <laughs> a little bit, yeah. Anyway, I know I've never found the chance to say this before, but... <clears throat> to me, Gaming, you've always been a great kid. <laughs> all right, that's everything I've got. Did you have something you wanted to say, or...? <laughs> Seeing the two of them talk things through uh... like this really gives Paimon a sense of accomplishment. Love a hat on the back. 
Now go. Over there, your friends are still waiting for you. <laughs> huh? But you came all this way. I'll be staying in Liyue Harbor for a bit longer. When you have time, we can grab dim sum together. Your treat, right? Dad, <laughs> honestly. <laughs> <laughs> Go. <laughs> okay, then I'm off. See you soon. <laughs> uh, really? It's nothing to be embarrassed about. You'd like to do? Hmm. I'd like to find and thank Auntie Xianyun, as well as everyone else who's helped me out. If everyone has time, maybe we could all get together and go fly a kite. Oh, yeah, sure. <laughs> I'm gonna look around. Look, look around the harbor. Uh, like, yeah, okay. Yeah, cuz. Oh, Lantern Rite was simply amazing. I'm not sure I'll be able to sleep tonight. Couple mix. Oh, that? Yeah, interesting story. It was invented by a guy from Fontaine. His name is Eildison. He's always tinkering away at some mechanism or another. He's even asked the Steambird to write about his inventions on more than one occasion. I believe I have a direct quote from him about this particular one. It, ah, yes, here it is. The device is powered entirely by mechanical components without the need for any additional energy source. Really? Basically, it's a manually operated cranking device. How high it can fly entirely depends on how much force you can exert. Combining uh. this invention with a kite. What a great idea, right? That is... huh. Oh. My conversation with Mr. Ip went really well. I've already sent the first draft of my article back to the Steambird. It's a piece that contains all the pertinent information while also telling a story. I'm quite proud of it. Oh, that reminds me. I should thank everyone who made this possible for me. Especially that spirited lady with those peculiar turns of phrase. Miss Shenyun was her name, right? It was all thanks to your connections and creativity. I would have never thought I'd be able to bring such a special gift back to Fontaine with me. This was my first time experiencing a foreign holiday in person. It was so exciting! The festive atmosphere, the contagious holiday spirit, the profound, storied cultural traditions steeped in symbolism. Oh, I almost forgot. Kuching even gave me a kite with a poem on it that she wrote herself. Oh? Uh -huh. It goes, Dreams are like paper kites. With them do our hopes take flight. Sailing high above the clouds, they yearn for something more profound. Yet try we may and try we might, a deeper truth waits in plain sight. Though we hang our hopes in skies abound, many joys lie on the ground. I want to include this poem in my special feature on Lantern Rite. I'm sure a lot of people will love it. Yep, and happy Lantern Rite to you. Hey. Oh. Oh. Actually, a lot I checked. Holy moly. Look around, like look around the harbor and see if find find any like 
find the keys. Oh, wait, wait. You see. Uh... if I can find oh yeah oh okay Also, we haven't really seen Xing Ching Cho at all during this, even though he's supposed to have, even though he has the, has that outfit, has an exclusive outfit or a new outfit. Okay, <clears throat> yeah, despite the new outfit. Oh, enough so she could. Good. Oh, it's just I've got a bunch of interesting things. <laughs> one last stop, I'm gonna I take one one last stop and go to go to punch function. <laughs> Okay, it doesn't look like I can't really find anyone else. So. <laughs> Wait, well. Fireworks.
Get it together. Right, sure. Okay. Oh. Okay. Oh, they act like an an emula recommended to. It's recommended to complete Act One of that. Beat that first. Book. But <clears throat> I mean, it should be fun. I can still do it. Like. Let's see. Quite a bit in a way. Right, so, um Oh Brown Chen you pale ones. Go, go, go. Go. Try that again. Actually, wait a minute. Was I supposed to do?
There we go. Down there. A reward on the road. Since it's right, since it's along the way, might as well grab it while we're. Stay put. Obey. Unleash. I still only have that level. Keep this close. Look. Okay, there's the, the challenge. There it is. The 
warp over here. There we go. Pack everything up nice and carefully. Don't drop anything. missions. It's gonna be purple. Okay, only a four star. Oh, we got Paparaz on. Okay. I get another. Run up at about fifty. Think I can. Sixty poles, so we're getting closer to city. Up. Yeah. Oh wait, what? Away. Water jet. Fire 
ordinance divine. Unleash, manifest. Don't be scared. Forget about me. Just go. Reward on the road. Okay. Wipe to. Oh, wow. Adept eye treasures have special powers. Hmm. What about mortal ones? I reach. I mean, I'm pretty close to this. I get
There we go. Huh. These... things... what are they used for? These... things... what are... So, this is what the world considers to be treasure. Uh-huh. Okay. Unleash! There's still a little bit left. Also, a, a boss. Okay. I'm probably getting distracted by all the, like, getting distracted by tiny stuff. Candy. He's candy. Ship manifest! Really? 
appreciate it. <laughs> I'm just finding a fish. So. Alright, we're good. Okay. It, it's cool. It, it is going. Huh. Oh, oh, there it is. Yep, he, we are in fact making an impact. Genshin. Oh. Adept die treasures have. I mean, if I'm not looking, I don't back it by any No, they can actually get back to the back to back down to business. Act fun nagling frustrated. Oh. Hey, nice. English, English do be hard. Uh, completely missed. Yeah, like. I'm up to 60 poles right now for, like, for Bird Mom. Really cool. Yeah, the. Like when I like I think I think when it was when I was trying to pull for Navia I got I lost fifty so Yeah. Like that's just that is just how it I was a little sad that I wasn't able to get like, it again. I could probably always try. There's always next time. Forget about me. Oh, well, just go. That's why you. That has been like, has been. Okay. 
love just like just love the like speed in this. Just this feels like so satisfying to play this or to drop or I mean, it's kind of like what I was hope what I was kind of hoping for. No, 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 break! Wrong button. So, thankfully, they, I guess, they figure that some people are going to do that by accident sometimes. That they also put, they put these near, like near warp points. I swear, that jump is always, well, it always makes me jump. More ways than one. How did I not? Oh. Oh, uh, here's my excuse. Treasure. One way to draw your target out of hiding. Uh, oh. A chest full of valuables. And a trove yeah. of potential clues. Yeah. 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 
curiosity deserves a reward. I wonder who this gift could be from. Oh, these guys actually have meat. <laughs> or have some meat to them. Meat to them. Not, oh, this is not, even, not even a challenge. Deserves a reward. <laughs> it. Oh. That's <laughs> done. Okay, sweet. So. Right. All the head rights. Yes. At them pre. So. Prime. I, I want to finish the story tonight. Let's 
let's try that again. I'm uh, not fall to our demise. Was I supposed to do some, yeah. like use that cannon for this? Find anything you like? I definitely didn't use. Back to back to Julia Harper. Don't get it. Is something wrong, Shanha? Tell me. Perhaps I can help. The color black doesn't get dirty easily. So I thought this outfit would be acceptable to wear to work. But Xiangling told me it was inappropriate. But inappropriate? How? She probably just meant the outfit isn't suitable for that particular environment and occasion. But for a festival gathering with friends, a nighttime stroll, or an important banquet, your outfit is more than appropriate, Shenha. So you're saying it's only something I should wear in front of important people? <sighs> I suppose that's another way to think of it. I got. I'm just so used to seeing, like, seeing Ganyu, like. Take it easy. Add Ash. Thank you for comp. Add Astro. Oh, leg.
Anyway, I need to use the restroom again, so be right back. Herb. Sing too. Dance away your cares, shake them loose. Come one and come on. Where a cool breeze blows and clean water flows, just a short stone's throw. Come on down to Lake Okay, we're back. All right. Navigating the world. Oh, Paimon almost forgot. Didn't Zhang Li say Hu Tao was also planning on spending some time in Chaoying Village? Oh, yeah. We didn't have anything else to do today, right? Why don't we go have a look around? Maybe we'll run into her. Hmm. Hi, hi, hi. One may have won the kite flying competition, Yu Hung. But this prize should truly be reserved for another. You need not be so humble, honored Adeptus. Among all the kites, yours was quite literally a cut above the rest. Please accept this prize. You deserve it. Besides, I'm quite certain we owe a fair share of the success of this year's lantern rite to you. <laughs> If you insist, then one can hardly continue to refuse. However, there is another matter with which one would ask your assistance. Oh. Of course. Hmm. One would be much obliged if you could distribute this case <laughs> of Sunglo tea among the Millilith on duty. The security of the festivities rests entirely on their shoulders, after all. One presumes they could always benefit from something to invigorate their spirits. Cloud Retainer is so thoughtful and attentive to others' needs. I would expect nothing less of an esteemed adeptus such as herself. Uh. Understood. I'll get on that right away. <sighs> A fortuitous result indeed. One's tea surplus has hitherto resolved itself. Oh. <laughs> uh.
Also, yeah. I have, I have another five slots that we can play around with. might have to make some new teams or some new party layouts or try out some new party layouts. Coco Pete. something good was going to happen during our travels today i have to say sometimes the steambird's astrology column is spot on it's just your lucky day are you guys also here to catch the festivities oh and that reminds me happy lantern right <laughs> happy lantern right right happy lantern right to you too uh wait if you're here for lantern right then what are you doing on top of this deserted mountain yeah where are you and that voice we heard you, right, Navia? Oh, impressive. You could tell it was me from that far away. You've got good ears. That or your voice is just really loud. Yeah, that too. Well, of course it is. After all, I'm a boss. Indeed. I suppose it's an asset. Sure is. Having a loud voice is a handy tool when it comes to communication. Wait, 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 that wasn't even Paimon's point. Paimon just wants to know why you two were shouting from the top of this deserted mountain. Yeah. There was something about almonds, maybe? And buell fruit? Ooh, is it some sort of secret code? Yes. No, it's not a code. The words are meaningless. Oh. Perhaps, but the act of shouting was very meaningful indeed. That's just what mountain climbers do, right? After all the hard work it takes to make it to the top, as you stand on the summit looking out at the vast scenery, it's not easy to resist the urge to release those emotions. So... <laughs> exactly. You get me, partner. Huh? I was afraid that it would cause a disturbance, so I asked the locals around here and they said it was fine. Apparently most hikers like to shout when they get to the top, so the locals are used to it by now. So, you see, it's not just me. I guess everyone shouts from the top of a mountain at some point in their life. Uh, speak for yourself. When you're stressed, don't you ever just get the urge to do something for no reason? Mm, not really. If I ever get stressed, I just go hunting. Oh, that's a pretty good way to relieve stress. Hmm... What I choose to hunt depends on my mood. Huh? Uh... Ahem. <laughs> anyway, why don't you two give it a try? Shout anything you want. It's a real stress reliever. Uh. Hmm. As long as Paimon has clothes on her back and food in her belly, Paimon doesn't think there's any stress that needs relieving. Or to keep things bottled up. 
Oh, I bet you guys are just too embarrassed to let loose. I'm surprised no Pennywise need then. to be shy. Even Farina was shouting from the top of this mountain earlier. Wait, what? Huh? Wait. Did Paimon what? hear that right? Wait, what? Farina's also here? In Chaiyang Village? Believe in your ears. It is indeed as you heard. Oh. Actually, the reason we climbed this mountain in the first place was also because we heard the sound of shouting. Yes, we could just about make out someone yelling things like, Help me! And what should I do? So we hurried up here to check it out. And what do you know? Miss Farina was standing right there, all red in the face. She practically sprinted back down the mountain the minute she saw us. Ah, that reminds me. I believe what she actually said was, So help me, I will figure out what I should do about this script. Uh, so you could actually hear what she was saying? Why didn't you say so earlier? I thought someone was really in trouble. I figured we would come check out the situation either way. Why not let her keep some privacy? Oh, seems like you caught Farina in the middle of some stress relief as well. Oh. She probably would have never thought... No, she definitely would have never thought she would run into anyone she knew all the way out here. You alone? I think so. Uh, we ran into Nervalet on the way here as well, but he was what? already on his way back, so they probably weren't together. Wait, why is everyone Suddenly <laughs> everyone's from Fontaine's coming. Nervalet was here too? I... Charlotte was here. But... What was he doing here? It couldn't have been for vacation. Yeah. I think it just might have been, actually. But apparently he only stayed for half a day before heading back. He's a very busy man. Hmm. Nevillette is not the type to take much time off. Taking even a half day for himself is already a huge step in the right direction. Didn't Charlotte publish an article on the Liyue tea industry recently? Maybe he was inspired to come buy some tea after reading that article. Wow. You know, just like you were. My situation is completely different. I'm here because I was asked to accompany you. The tea purchase is simply an added bonus of this location. No need to be a few Fontanians in your tea drinking. Uh, oh, yeah. it's tea. not for me. I lost a bet with Ridesley, and now I have to buy him something. It was just a spur of the moment sort of bet. Ridesley gets really invested in that sort of thing, but he couldn't care less about what he wins in the end. You could give him mint plants that you plucked from the side of the road, and he wouldn't even mind. Mm. Uh, if only he was that easy going when it came to talking business. <laughs> In any case, I'm pretty sure the tea you bought is this region's specialty. Uh, what is it called again? Uh, Nervalette even mentioned it earlier. Buy ten boxes, get half off. Yes, yes, that's the one. You didn't really buy ten boxes, did you? <sighs> Please. Do I look like someone who would fall for that sort of marketing trap? Ah, that reminds me. You guys said you only came up here because you heard my voice, right? I hope it didn't put you out. You must have had other plans for the day. Oh, oh right. that's right! Who tell? Yeah. A few days ago, we heard that a friend was going to be in Chaoying Village. So we decided to come and see if we could run into her. Oh, dear. We've been chatting for quite some time. I'm sorry for keeping you. I'm darn, partner. <laughs> That's good. We should probably head out and look for Hu Tao. No need to stay on our account. We just got up here, so we're gonna stay around for a little longer. Mm. <laughs> Go and meet your friend. We can meet up in Chaoying Village later. Sounds reasonable. Sounds good. Me. We're gonna head down the mountain then. See you later. What do I have to do to get you to yell from the top of this mountain? Name your price. You really want to hear it that bad, huh? I'm just curious is all. I have a feeling you'll say something amazing. <sighs> I will pass. I prefer to let actions speak louder than words. It'd still go a little bit higher. Huh. Oh. Oh, oh. 
Oh. Oh? Chowing Village is known oh. for its tea. But you know what else they have with tea? That's right, dim sum! Didn't Gumming say something about dim sum being eaten in the morning? Oh, Paimon wonders if we can still get some at this time of day. Oh, well that's fine too. Paimon doesn't care what kind of tea it is as long as it comes with some tasty snacks. Yeah, yeah. Now, let's see what kind of yummy things we can find around here. Uh... Paimon's not seeing things, is she? Is that yeah. Farino standing between Zhongli and Hu Tao? Yeah. Wonder what they're talking about. Hmm, Zhongli knows a lot of stuff. Maybe he's telling Farina about Chow Ying Village. Oh, or maybe Hu Tao is trying to rope Farina into being one of her clients. Uh, hey, this isn't the Fortress of Meripede. But Paimon could be convinced for the right price. Let's say, loser buys the winner three huge bowls of seafood kanji. Since Zhang Li is there, Paimon bets things are pretty tame. It's decided then. Paimon votes for tour guide Zhang Li. Yeah, I vote for Hustle Hu All right, no time to waste. Let's go see who's right. <sighs> Shouting too. <laughs> oh, well, aren't you a sight for sore eyes? Seems like our luck just keeps on growing. I that we were able to meet you both without prior arrangement must mean that this is quite the serendipitous meeting indeed. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, so both of you are acquainted with the traveler in Paimon then. You only felt the passage of time, so. Oh, looks like someone's learned a thing or two from Zhang Li. Uh -oh. I must admit, I am a bit surprised to see you here, Traveler. You and me both. But seeing as you're a hero who's been all over to that, it makes sense that you would be well-traveled and well-connected. Hmm? Since we have found ourselves in each other's company within this fertile land, allow me to take this opportunity to wish you a happy Lantern Rite. Lantern it right. appears you have been to Fontaine, then. Yeah. Given your proclivity to spread good deeds wherever you go, it's no surprise that you would make the acquaintance of a celebrity as illustrious and celebrated as Miss Farina. Uh, that's quite high praise. What I mean to say is, you flatter me, Mr. Zhongli. Although I've built up a certain following within Fontaine, it is no reflection of strength or wisdom. I stand before you right now as nothing more than an ordinary traveler in search of beautiful scenery and creative inspiration. There is definitely more to Mr. Zhongli than meets the eye. I could tell as much from our conversation earlier. Given his breadth of knowledge on both academic and worldly matters, there's no way he hasn't heard about what happened in Fontaine. Yeah. Is he just feigning ignorance for my benefit? Probably. No, 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 no. I, yeah. You're no common tourist. I simply won't have you talk about yourself that way. Huh? Does that mean Hu Tao also knows? You may not have heard, friends, but. Uh, um, Miss Hu Tao. Miss Farina is now one of my esteemed clients. Wait, what? Uh, uh, Wait, what? Uh, yep. <laughs> yep. Esteemed client. Okay, okay, you win. Hmm, guess Paimon will have to break into the hidden stash at the bottom of her shoe. Oh. Uh -huh. What's this about winning something? Uh, we were just... Don't tell it... me. You two were placing bets on us. It was Paimon's idea. <laughs> oh, we just saw you guys standing on the side of the road and couldn't help but take guesses as to what you were talking about. Oh, I see. That means you, my friend, must have guessed that I was trying to promote my business to Miss Farina. Oh, you know me. That I do, my friend. What was Paimon's guess then? Paimon thought Zhang Li was showing the newbie around. <laughs> <sighs> By newbie, you mean me, right? If that's the case, then Paimon's guess was also correct. What? Oh, that's right. 
Mr. Zhongli was telling me about some great sightseeing spots in the area. Ha! You see? Paimo was right too! Uh. Since both of our guesses were right, there can't be a winner or a loser. Fine, keep your stash then. Hey, don't be upset, Traveler. I have all the mo I have most money anyway. How about this? You buy Paimon a bull and Paimon will also buy you a bull. Right. Uh, as for the third bull... Since I was the subject of the bet, perhaps it should go to me? You know, as a congratulations for the huge deal I just struck. I'll buy you a bowl anytime. <laughs> I was just joking. But I want to. Anyway, I should be the one treating you. The funeral parlor is about to bring in quite the sum after all. Wait, what? Oh, what do you mean? I almost forgot to ask about the most important question. Yeah, what? Did uh, something happen recently, Farina? Yeah. Something. Huh? What do you mean? Uh, well, you know, with you enlisting the services of Wangsheng Funeral Parlor and all. Oh, well, yes. Uh... Really? Oh, no. Paimon is so sorry for your loss. Uh... Although Paimon may have not known the person, please accept Paimon's deepest... Paimon. Paimon, you Whoa, 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 it's not like that, Paimon. I... Huh? But Paimon just thought... <laughs> Funeral. Since you hired the services but of a funeral parlor and all. Hired. Hey, it's not that big of a stretch. Really, Paimon? It's not like you don't know me. Do I look like I know anyone who would ask me to coordinate their funeral? Miss Hu Tao is simply helping prepare some props for my film. Um... Not too long ago, I read a collection of horror stories from Liyue. The content was spectacular. In fact, I still feel the need to sleep with the light on even now. Oh. Uh, <laughs> anyway, that's not the point. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Now that Fontaine's biggest star has returned to the stage, I figured it's about time the industry enjoyed a breath of fresh air. You might even call it a breath of... a breath of fresh terror. Hey. <laughs> That's pretty good. I'll have to remember that for my ad posters. Oh, Paimon sees. That makes a lot of sense. So, did you come to Liyue just to enlist the services of Wangsheng Funeral Parlor? Well, not exactly. My original plan was to just relax and enjoy the sights. But then I ran into Miss Hu Tao and Mr. Zhang Li, and, well, you know the rest. I suppose it was meant to be. It was a fated meeting indeed. Zhong Li sure loves his lofty turns of phrase. But if you ask me, it's all thanks to that man who stopped to ask for directions. Oh? Who was it? It's someone you know. Wanna take a guess? What? What? How did you guess that on your first try? Very impressive, my friend. Your guessing game is spot on today. Eh. Yeah. Huh. Paimon never thought Nervalette would be the type to get lost. <laughs> I'm sure he didn't get lost. <laughs> Even I was able to find my way to this place without any trouble. He was already getting ready to leave by the time I arrived. He just wanted to ask someone about the quickest way to get back to Fontaine. Yup, that's exactly what he asked. This area is full of mountains and rivers. It's normal to not know the fastest route. For him, pro for him though, swimming would probably be the fastest route. So, were you the one that pointed him in the right direction, Hotel? Of course. I'm also a guide of sorts, you know. So naturally, I also have a great sense of direction. It's not to the but afterlife, right? Speaking of your friend... What about him? He doesn't get out much, does he? No. No, he doesn't. Ah, uh, no wonder. He was stiff as a board and way too polite. I would have never guessed he was here on vacation if you hadn't told me. All in all, he was only here for half a day. I'm pretty sure he is the only one who would consider that to be a vacation. Oh? This gentleman you speak of must keep a demanding schedule. Yeah. I'm sure he does. 
You didn't see him, but he was dressed like he was about to attend some important meeting. It wasn't anything like what someone would wear on vacation. Is that so? Wait, <laughs> you didn't see him, Jean Lee? No, you didn't. Unfortunately, no. At the time, it appeared as if Director Hu and Miss Farina were having quite the productive conversation. I know matters of business can take much discussion, so I decided to fetch some tea for them. What a shame. That gentleman seemed like a sophisticated sort of guy. I actually think you two would have hit it off. Yeah, you would have. Is that so? I mean, I can... Yeah. You've been avoiding him on purpose. Hmm. Yeah. Maybe. <laughs> to borrow Miss Farina's turn of phrase, perhaps it just wasn't meant to be. Well, with the traveler around, I'm sure you'll have a chance to get to know each other at some point. That's right. She's got more friends than she knows what to do with. Well, that's certainly true. Oh, that reminds me. If you get the chance, you should try and talk to Nervalette into loosening up a bit. Yeah. Just tell him the Palais Mermonia isn't going to fall apart if he disappears for a few days. <laughs> he shouldn't keep himself cooped up all the time. Uh. Even clams open their shells to let in fresh water every once in a while, right? If he's really that much of a stickler for protocol, he can fill out a leave of absence request. He'd uh, have to approve it himself since he handles that sort of thing now, but you know what I mean. Seems like this gentleman is also in charge of something pretty important. I mean, he's, he's the fair and impartial e Eudex of, of Fontaine, head of the highest court of the land, otherwise known as the demon who controls all the paperwork in Fontaine. <laughs> I've never heard of a demon that boring before. <laughs> in my experience, a leader needs to be able to roll with the punches. That also includes knowing when and what to prioritize. It I seems do. like your friend still has a lot of growing to do. If I remember correctly, he's already several thousands of years old. Uh, you're quite right, Miss Sudao. <laughs> oh? Harry. I just realized... Traveler, Miss Farina. Those two individuals over there appear to recognize you. Oh, it's Navia and Cloran. Hi. Barrier. We saw you all chatting over here, and we're wondering if we could join in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. more merry. <clears throat> um, please excuse the interruption. Uh, no uh, <laughs> so polite. Auntie. No apologies necessary. Any friend of the traveler and Miss Farina is mm -hmm. a friend of mine. Ye. Ah, <laughs> straight to the point. I like it. Ye. Oh? <laughs> oh, wait. <laughs> I wanted to hear that. Hmm, it's getting late. If we want to catch a boat back before dark, we should probably get going. Indeed. Then, Miss Farina. Oh, uh, uh, yes? When are you planning to head back? Do you need us to escort you? Oh, um, I... I don't think that will be necessary. I mean, you're not my subordinate anymore. You don't need to look after me. Um, I didn't mean it that way. It's normal for friends to travel home together if they run into each other on the road. Yeah. Mm, there are a lot of mountainous roads in this area. I imagine they'll be even harder to navigate after dark. Exactly. Just like in those ghost stories. Eight paths converge um. in a wood. Beside them, an old house is stood. If you dare to go inside, not a soul will greet your eye. But if you take a closer look, there may be something you mistook. A candle flickers to and fro, yet there is no wind to make it so. What is its secret? What could it mean? In this wood, where mystery screams. <laughs> My dear demoiselles, uh, uh, ladies, no, 
you. Uh, I mean, friends, please take me with you. <laughs> <laughs> of course. Yes. <laughs> Gotta say, Farina, you are really quite the character. By yes, the way, did I hear you mention that Clorand used to work under you? Then you must have also been a leader at some point. Uh, well, that's, uh, all in the past now. Yeah. Besides, being a leader is hard. It wasn't the right job for me. I mean, you did it for I prefer how things are now. Time. I can come and go as I please and get to enjoy the sweet taste of freedom. I see. Well, you've certainly picked an apt place to relax. Xiaoying Village is an exemplary choice. Only the best. <laughs> and I've learned a lot, too. Thank you so much, Miss Hu Tao and Mr. Zhongli. It's fine. You've thanked us more than enough already. The next time you're in this neck of the woods, I'll treat you to some dim sum in the city. Dim sum? Is that some kind of liyue term for snacks or desserts? They are a part of it. It's basically a table full of as much tea, sweets, and good company as you can manage. Oh, so it's basically a tea party. <laughs> Sounds great. Yeah, I mean, Make sure to order the winter melon cake and the lotus flower crisp. They're so sweet and delicious, Paimon knows you'll love them. Ooh, okay. <laughs> I'll be looking forward to it then. Wait, but didn't you guys say you were here on vacation? How come you're all going home empty-handed? I bring home any souvenirs? Of course I am. I bought tons of fun things to bring home with me. A kite, a parasol, a little tin frog that jumps. Oh, and a stuffed toy of a mythical beast. Wait, what? Clorand is the one who didn't buy anything for herself. So all you're bringing back with you is that tea? And some tea-flavored hard candies. They're for Siege Queen. Uh -huh. and isn't much of a shopaholic. Uh... Well, one of us has to practice restraint. Hey, I'm hardly reckless with my Mora. I'll have you know, all the purchases I made today were well within my budget. Me? Oh, well, I bought some tea, of course. I just had to try all the varieties recommended in the Steambird. Other than that, just some bits and bobs, you know. A little bit of this, a little bit of that. They should all be things I can use. I think. Go for a few more green trucks. Uh, now Paimon's even more confused. If you bought that much stuff, where did it all go? Into one of Linny's magic packets? Oh, <laughs> actually... Monsieur Neuvillet took them with him. Ach Wait, what? Why did he take them? Oh, he's not hoarding treasure, is he? Oh, <laughs> that's quite the imagination you've got there, Paimon. Monsieur Nervillet just saw the amount of bags we had and offered to take them back for us. I felt a bit bad at first, but, uh, I really did have a lot of stuff. <laughs> He even offered to deliver my gifts to the Fortress of Meripede for me, once he's done with the day's work. Wow. Novelette is a man of his word. If he says he can do something, then he means it. See, even Clorand was happy to take him up on his offer. If even his trusty subordinate agreed, then who was I to refuse? Wow, he seems like a real gentleman. Maybe he's not as uptight as I thought. If only the funeral parlor had an employee as thoughtful, proactive, and responsible as him. Right, uh. Zhang Li? <laughs> Indeed. Clarence <laughs> said Nervale offered to deliver her gifts to Risley. So if we go to the entrance of the Fortress of Meripede, maybe we'll run into Nervale. But we don't know exactly when he'll show up. Oh, that reminds me. A new year of work is about to begin. If there's anything you want to talk about, Zhongli, you know you can come to me. I'm all ears. Does the director have any concerns? It just seemed like you were a bit preoccupied today, and much less talkative than usual. He barely said anything other than, Is that so? And, indeed. If you ask me, 
I'd say you're having a midlife crisis. What? <laughs> you're getting to be around that age after all. Is that so? <laughs> <laughs> I jest. Given its distance from the city, Chaoying Village enjoys a much slower pace of life. Surrounded by such peace and tranquility, I also seem to have developed a proclivity for inactivity. I apologize for making you worry. Ah, um, I see. What do you think, Traveler? Is this atmosphere putting you in a lazy mood, too? Wow, you are getting really good at these kinds of lines. Indeed. Well, everyone, make sure that you've got all your belongings with you before we leave. If there's any souvenirs anyone still wants to buy, the time is now. Reliable as ever, Miss President. <laughs> what is that supposed to mean? Gloriand is right, though. You really are reliable. It's not what she's saying. It's the way she's saying it. I will say, but I never thought you'd be so easygoing outside of work, Gloriand. The tone of voice you use when you're working doesn't exactly make you seem like the type who enjoys interacting with people. Well, I try to keep my professional and private life separate. That includes my behavior. You take care now, Traveler. Paimon. Don't worry, your partner is very strong. Ah, trying to act cool now, are we? <laughs> well, I guess it's not an act for you, is it? You are indeed quite strong. Yes. <laughs> it's been great talking to you all. I'm really glad I decided to come to Chaoying Village. Maybe we could go on another trip together sometime? Uh... Road trip. <laughs> okay. Okay. Hey, well. Going go all the way to Fontaine. Like during Lantern Ride. Uh, uh, not, not enough hydro. Hydro -sick. you. It has been some time since our last meeting. Few people frequent this location. Since I was able to conclude my work early for the day, I thought I might take a walk and avail myself of this area's peace and quiet. You call this early? Do you always work this late, Nevelet? Strictly speaking, that depends on the agenda for the day. I am hardly bereft of time, however, so working late is of little consequence to me. Really? If you have so much time on your hands, then why did you only go to Chaoying Village for half a day? Hmm? First, I should clarify that I was referring to my lifespan, rather than the time at my disposal on any given day. Oh! Second, I was unaware you possessed knowledge of my trip to Chaoying Village. And we were there. I see. Thank you for informing me. Yes, they have been safely delivered. <laughs> I have to hand it to Clorand. Just a simple gift delivery, and she has the great and mighty Udex at her beck and call. 
I was just passing through. It was merely an act of convenience. All right. Then I hereby confirm receipt of the goods on behalf of the staff of the Fortress of Meripede. A verbal receipt of confirmation? Is such a formality really necessary for a small matter such as this? Guess not. This quantity of tea, though, seems a little excessive for a gift, don't you think? <laughs> Before you know it, they'll start accusing me of taking bribes. Ah, about that. Much of that is my own excess, I'm afraid. Wait! Oh? Why? What happened? It was buy ten boxes, get half off. <gasps> ah, that explains it then. Well, go ahead and leave them to me. I'll get through this stash as fast as I can. You have my thanks. Oh, there's something else I'd like to give to you. This is... a stone slate, engraved with a symbolic design. Well, that is an apt description. It is, in actuality, a legal codex. A legal codex, huh? Hmm. Before the advent of modern writing utensils, Information was recorded on stone slabs such as this. The law was no different. Oh... okay. Since ancient times, the scales of justice have symbolized the fairness um. and impartiality of judiciousness. As a tribute to that sentiment, this slate was designed after a traditional legal codex, and engraved with a symbol instead of text. During my travels recently, I chanced upon a roadside stall offering tourists the opportunity to try their hand at the ceramic arts. So I decided to have a go. We joked with Cloran some time ago about gifting you a legal codex. So, here you go. Ah, so that's what this is about. I did not expect you to remember it as well. In any case, I hope this can be considered as a reasonable attempt to join in on the banter. Ah, bro. It is a very good attempt. I suppose I shouldn't be surprised. Even your sense of humor centers around the law. That's an impressive level of commitment. Well, a gift of this significance deserves to be put on display, and I know just the place. Front and center in the fortress's showroom. Ah, surely there's no need for such a grand gesture. Just kidding. I don't have anything like a showroom. Yeah, I didn't think. But we do have a storage room. We can put it next to all the mechanical parts Sejuin has collected. Uh... That sounds good to me. So that's what you were doing in Chaoying Village. Indeed. Of course, while I was there, I also took the opportunity to taste the local spring water. The aftertaste is much purer than what I have delivered to me in Fontaine. It stands to reason that the long-distance transport has a tendency to imbue the water with extraneous emotion. If you want to experience the true flavor, you simply have to go to the source. Perhaps I should organize some time off to do the same elsewhere. And they were, like, a... A balance between work and play is sure to keep your troubles away. Then we are of the same bit. mind. It appears my desire is justified. If you say so, like, you know you don't have to justify a vacation, right? You can just take one. After all, you're hardly bereft of time. You can do whatever you bereft want. Time. You're quite right. I suppose I suffer not from a lack of opportunity, but rather a lack of inspiration. However, after reading a few articles about Li Wei's holiday traditions, the idea popped into my head and made itself quite at home. Seeing as I was free of responsibilities for the morning, I decided to depart at once. How was it? Refreshing. My spontaneous outing seemed to inspire quite a few other spontaneous decisions as well. Take, for example, my foray into ceramics. 
At first, soil from the ground is granular and unforgiving, but add the right amount of water, and it becomes soft, moldable, and able to take shape. In the past, I never thought about how quotidian vessels were crafted, but now I have participated in their very making. This is also something I made today. Oh. Oh. That's a ladle? I meant that it was supposed to be some long-necked sea creature. That was indeed one of my inspirations. Really? You like it? To tell you the truth, given yeah. your unexpected arrival, I find myself quite unequipped to give you the welcome you deserve. Around such an important holiday such as this, human custom would dictate that gifts should be in order. But yeah. I'm afraid this is all I can offer. If you'll have it, that is. I really keep this thing? That bag? is precisely why it would do me such a great honor if you accepted. You are most welcome. Happy Lantern Rite. Nice be. Hmm. Approve a leave of absence request for myself. That sounds like it could easily lead to a vicious cycle of self-indulgence. Something which couldn't be in further violation of protocol. But, I suppose I understand her point. My proclivity to refrain from personal outings does, in part, originate from a sense of responsibility toward my duties. But it is also due to a lack of desire to engage in the human world. But now I see that the human world is indeed full of many interesting places to discover. Told you that, man. No. Oh. Lantern Rite marks the start of the new year in Liyue. In the spirit of the season, then. I wish you a year of success as vast and endless as the open ocean. Lantern right in the spirit of... Right. That was Lantern right. <sighs> ah. Lander right. Yeah. Holy cow! That was really something. Like, definitely got a lot more than I than I bargained for. <sighs> I'm gonna call it here for two. Um, yeah, it was great to. It was great to go the lantern ride everyone. And yeah. Time I think we'll be we'll be going back to and maybe like and maybe like dabble in a little bit of engine every now and then just so we can like 
while I still have this, like, still have this campaign going. But, in the meantime, um, thanks everyone for something, bye. Um, Yum yum. Yeah. Yeah, buy 10, get half off. Totally. But yeah. Um, yeah. Thanks to everyone for Bye. Have a good night. God bless you. See you next time. Thanks for your next time. Thanks. See you later. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.